this is the 2016 Hyundai Genesis. The Hyundai Genesis and probably what most people will probably would like to present or put it as or might be known in a lot of palaces as the Hyundai Genesis. Well, so if I have to put this in a more pragmatic sense, what this comes is so simple. This Genesis first generation actually started in the year 2015, and it's obvious anyway. So with that, it was meant to challenge a quite a like and a most variety of vehicles that falls within this class. So the Genesis, what the Hyundai has been done, has done in over the years or quite some time now. We came about the Elantra, the Sonata, the Palisade, the, um, a few other class of cars which comes with resilience and competence and reliability for that matter. And Hyundai has never failed when it comes to performance and efficiency. These qualities are quite oriented when it comes to a luxurious or quite a top-notch brand like the Korean car manufacturer. So the interesting fact about this is that this has been a new generation or a new oriented purpose where Hyundai started making super luxury vehicles to actually compete the likes of the Mercedes S-Class, the E-Class, the Cadillac CTS, as well as the likes of the Porsche Panamera and a few host of cars out there. When it comes to luxury, a lot of brands come to mind like the Rolls Royce and as well as the Bentley. But this is quite something beyond the roof and if you are looking for a luxurious, a super luxurious car for half the price or a fraction of what you will be paying for most of the cars out there. So I take a walk to my good friend and to see how his 2016 Hyundai Genesis actually fares in this comparison that I'm about to make in this section. So well like I will always say or I love to say that as we say that in the beginning was um, a quite a tough decision for most people to actually be abreast with to know if this indeed has been the car to actually move or go out for. So like a good Christian I always say in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was um, in the beginning God created heaven and earth and this gives you a new dimension when I felt like this as a Genesis why should be and how this has come with its own stylish definition so if I take a walk around the Genesis the one thing which is reminiscent of the Genesis is actually the front grille which is quite elaborated front grille and with a presence that much or most people will probably be expecting it's much reminiscent to the Audi's front grille but with this comes with its own new dimensions it, if I have to put this in a way this is the Genesis V6 the second generation of the Genesis and this comes with a um, naturally aspirated V6 and the Genesis has two dimensions we have the V6 and the V8 the V6 mostly comes with the all-wheel drive section and the V8 comes with the rear wheel drive and it's more or very more common when you go to places like uh, Toronto or Vancouver um, and the northern of Canada those parts are much more uh, reminiscent to those within those dimensions so what I want to know or what I want to put into the surface for you to understand why this car why the Genesis why it should be a choice why it should be a decision to make in 2020 is quite simple in this dimension so apart from the naturally aspirated v6 and then the naturally aspirated the v8 this two comes um, in the same section what this explains is that the genesis actually does is not a self-induced um, transmission um, so in other way you have to look at when you have the turbochargers or the superchargers are added to the v6 or the v8 to enhance performance or which gives you more performance orientation this doesn't come in the same way this has its most stylish definitions and mechanical properties when it comes to um, a new design so the genesis comes with its own badge and this is really reminiscent when you move to the front section of the vehicle at occupant so under this hood it's the 5.0 um, the v6 which is the 3.8 
this is producing 311 horsepower. It's quite an interesting dimension in this case. If I have to put this in an automotive journalism way, it is quite reminiscent to such a huge and a luxurious, super luxurious um, um, saloon or a sedan in this case. And so, one thing I want to put it as the safety measures and the precautions that the Hyundai has been able to put uh, in place in, in building this um, vehicle. The fact that it gives you that opulent um, definition is one key thing and resilience is another thing. So um, we did send in most cases when you see the, um, the, the headlamps washers um, for most of the genesis despite the fact that um, this um, doesn't come with that it's still a top notch uh, in this case and then the turning signals well embossed on the side mirrors so it's it's one of the key things that we'll be looking at we'll be looking at um, the, the 3.8 um, liter v6 um, just in a split of a second under the hood and see how well this has been built and such a way so if you're looking for such a thing like this you need not to be told much if you're going for um much of that so after this this has actually transitioned to the g80 and the g90 and this has come and that's become its own brand in recent times so uh, ladies and gentlemen this it should be the car that you should be buying um from my good friend now and i believe i should be touching on some few things in the interior and i think that will drop the curtains down um for this moment like i always say from the beginning um or like i would love to say that the bible says in the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created heaven and earth that's exactly what you're seeing here in the genesis that the Hyundai Genesis 2016 V6 naturally aspirated um, engine which produces a whooping 311 horsepower and about 401 newton meters of torque this is beyond the roof so a typical Genesis the interior as you can see top-notch leather seats and and you can see the instrumentation panel the dashboard as you start the engine you could also see the heads-up display um, somewhere here which I'll be showing you in a second and uh, you can see uh, the uh, systematic panel as well the knobs as well as some um, other dimension the audio control and the one category or one key thing that I want to put which is reminiscent in the Genesis is actually the analog clock as well so the analog clock is quite clear if you can see and then the, with it, it's much reminiscent with the Rolls Royce Phantom. That's the only thing that makes the noise um, in the Phantom. The S class, the E class, which includes the E63, the CLA, which is from the Mercedes, and the Porsche Panamera. And then there are some few other um, class of classic vehicles which are meant to compete with this. And this gives you a much, much, much experience and then a half. Um, the price of what you should be looked for. So the navigation panel um, pops up on the LCD um, screen as well and other the instrumentation and details on the rear mirror which you can adjust and, and configure as well. So with it, let me actually pull back slightly um, for you to see that um, you can also control the mirror, the side mirrors uh, efficiently and we don't have any issues at all and we'll be looking at the um, hood and see what we have there yeah so this is the v60 d uh, uh gdr with its uh, petrol engine and that's it it all all comes with the petrol in the transmit uh transmissions and this has an eight uh speed automatic transmission as well it's quite amazing you see this the, the deep stick and everything has been in place and it has been well kept that is the fact after running now with uh, 52,000 to about 60 um, thousand miles and this has still been in a superb shape uh, with all the calibrations that you one might expect for such a luxurious um, sedan or saloon car like that. so I'll 
start the engine and then you see a few other things what we might expect to see around the details the detailing and uh, the led um, headlights and then with this it adjusts just like the quadra beams which toyota has produced in recent times and so with that see you have uh, no issues at all. It gives Ladies you that and gentlemen, and this the is the 15.6 cubic feet of cargo so this storage space of the 2016 the Hyundai Genesis. Um, in fact, I say all uh, uh, social rims which simply means you are welcome a in going. That's a super fantastic, it's so not an S class, but this is the Hyundai the Genesis. Well, this uh, is which also super fantastic. Well, perfectly look, let me tell you this. The 2016 Hyundai Genesis actually offers more cubic feet of interior room than just the BMW, the Cadillac, the Infiniti, and even the Lexus. I must confess, the Hyundai Genesis cockpit actually sits five and this lends a lot, a lot of focus on or around the comfort and reliability. I must confess, this is super fun. There's one mind boggling tech feature of the 2016 Hyundai Genesis is the proximity key. Look at this, look at what's going to happen. It's going to detect my presence. One, two, go. Let's see. Fantastic. Look at this smart feature. Three, two, one, go. This is called the Genesis Smart Trunk or Boot feature, which automatically opens when you stand close to the boot for about three seconds. This is super fantastic and I must confess that I'm going really bonkers about this smart feature of from Handy and they have done a, a yeoman's job and it's super fantastic. It's you don't see this often in such luxurious or super luxurious um sedans or, or saloon cars. This features actually comes with a hefty price tag. But Handy decided to give okay, this for a fraction engine. of the cost. This is so this is the part i love the most look at this look at this look at this yeah the genesis pops up on the lcd screen and so that is uh, the panoramic the sunroof that you expect to see and this can be toggled between the sunroof and the moonroof and it plays the same on uh, dimensions as well so uh we're going out for a text drive to see how this fares actually on on the road and just the suspensions so right and so the first thing um i want the impression we have it's the interior of the 2016 hyundai um, genesis it has a top-notch um leather upholstery and that is something that i wouldn't relent in putting across it's quite clear as you can see and the interesting fact that i want to put on the table is with it and compared to the s class or the cadillac cts the porsche panamera and the likes of the even the mercedes e-class which was meant primarily to compete um this same generation have similar um aesthetics and similar preferences and the taste and preferences in this dimension but you see that having this for half the price is a top notch so we'll be taking the v6 um um to a, a ride actually and see how it fares on the road uh, if it provides comfortability reliability and um, proficiency and that much more it's that uh, expectation that you might be looking for for such a super luxurious uh, vehicle in this category so the first thing is that the engine okay so the seat reclines when you start the engine and one thing is we have the head heads up display and all this and the interest in it's the genesis then pops up on the led lcd screen uh, for you to see what exactly this is really about so we're moving straight forward and exiting the parking lot okay so taking that slowly see how it fares on the road
right so it's very gentle on the road as one might expect in this situation it's not too aggressive as we might see in it some of its German competitors in this um, category and the V6 naturally aspirated engine actually produces a hooping 401 newton meters of torque and like I said uh, before this is a 311 horsepower so it's so comfortable it's it's not difficult to handle I'm not having issues at all um, actually driving this and uh, the throttle has been so smooth and one thing I, I must confess is this with the S class is still a top notch and being half the fraction of this the only thing or the only feeling I could say about this is the fact that um, it doesn't give you that sportier feeling like as you can see in the Cadillac CTS or the BMW the 5 series uh, in this um, this case actually it's still very smooth Shall we turn around here? Oh, you can go oh, okay then you can make the speed all right then so going to test this thoroughly to see how it fares on the road at this when you make the speed okay you can feel it oh yeah, yeah. this is reverse yeah i think it's coming back I think we can, can go. go this. Yeah, you can go here or here. Alright. Anyway. You can go. Right, so this is the V6 naturally aspirated engine and it's so resilient on the road. It doesn't give you issues. It's very comfortable and it's so efficient as you can expect in the S-Class or the BMW um, 5 um, series in this situation. Not issue at all. And one thing I should tell you, it's about the angular momentum is key when automotive manufacturers are actually um, making vehicles. So you check the suspensions and see how smooth this reacts on the road and how fast it could be. And there's, like most people I could see, the Genesis have tested uh, in the past and for the days of old. I must confess one thing is mostly with a V6 transmission you expect to spend about 60 miles per gallon on the road or the highway and then uh, maybe 23 miles per gallon um, for the um, V8 um, edition. So it has been smooth. I, I didn't expect it to uh, actually be so ragged on the road that side that the fact that this gives you such a comfort and resilience should be a top-notch and hamstring um, that you might actually go for so we'll be making a perfect thing and see how this is going to be like so the heads are display it's actually in fantastic shape I think we can yeah you can turn So far, no worries. It has been fantastic, if I should say, if not fantabulous. So I I recommend with us with about fifty two thousand two hundred and eighty um, seven of mileage. It it's a top notch for a vehicle of this of this um, price. And no two ways about that. So about to negotiate the bend and see how the Genesis actually fares when you negotiate um, the bend. There are not too many um, um, dimensions when it comes to maybe making it. So smooth and no issues at all. 
one might expect that such um, a luxurious vehicle with such top-notch instrumentation should actually come with a hefty price tag. And thus, Honey is trying to remobilize and redefine the sense of um, super luxurious or super luxury in a new dimension, which without taking away the class of feeling at home when you are actually in such a vehicle, the one newton meters of torque should be tested and see how it fares predominantly on the road in a more pragmatic sense. If this could be compared to the Cadillac CTS and as well as the Mercedes S Class or the E63 or the E Series or the um, BMW, which is uh, much more reminiscent of the 5 Series, this is actually giving the same um, feeling to Billy because with us just this year had um, a Mercedes AMG that's the, um, the 500D more realistically this is the, the GLE so with the GLE means has the features of the G class and as well as the E class and it's also a V8 producing a similar horsepower with this which weighs less uh, below um, two tons so I think that's it's such a top notch if we want to make the dimensions and see how this actually works. I'll be testing the audio system for you to actually um, access how good this is. This doesn't come with a Bose audio system, but typically Hyundai has done a fantastic job by actually propagating and such a realistic and superficial audio transmission, which you can take from them. A heads up display actually comes out front as you see, I think we'll be going straight or turn. Yeah, you can go here. Oh, okay, Just then. go straight. Okay. Okay. We have a traffic light oh, here, yeah. so when it's gone, okay, then. everybody can stop. Okay, and go. okay. So that's how this top notch gives you the detailed explanation why I think it's on. Yeah, you can go now. The Genesis, can I join straight for it? Yeah, you can. Okay. So that's my expectation. Nothing has been taken away, and with us, without the adaptive cruise control or the cruise control um, being put on, you could still have the feeling to put this vehicle in shape without having issues at all. The suspension has been awesome. You wouldn't notice this, and it hasn't been too quiet within but my expectations are beyond the bunkers and i want to confess that one going for such uh, with us it prompts you when you will you have an obstacle which it just did uh, in front of you you wouldn't have the sense or the feeling of maybe colliding with uh, an object or a vehicle uh, ahead of you so with, with this weighing um slightly above two tons I think it's a top notch for a vehicle of this class and what this brings on board. About 60,000 of miles being made by this and it's still being in a flamboyant shape. You need not to have issues at all when actually you're making okay, this. this. And that was the collision warning. Yeah, it was the collision warning. So that's exactly what. Uh, you expect to see when you have such a quality brand. I uh, you know Hyundai in most cases most people never believe um, Hyundai could actually come with such um, technical know-how or such a realistic um, technology to actually propagate the brand in recent times. So we've seen the Elantra, we've seen the Sonata, we've seen the Palisade and there are other uh, the Equinox and there are other high um, grades of vehicles of this Mana and it's a top notch and not two weeks about that. I believe there is a reason why people always go for the V6 uh, in this regard and for that matter if I have to put this well the full consumption hasn't been too smooth but I believe that this is doing a human's job a fantastic job and keeping itself within the lane the first one. BMW um, 5 um, see it in this situation not issue at all and one thing I should tell you it's about the angular momentum is key 
when automotive manufacturers are actually um, making vehicles so you check the suspensions and see how smooth this reacts on the road and how fast it could be and this like most people I could say the Genesis have tested uh, in the past and for the days of old I must confess one thing is mostly with a V6 transmission you expect to spend about 60 miles per gallon on the road or the highway and then uh, maybe 23 miles per gallon um, for the um, V8 um, edition so it has been smooth. all right so another key thing about the 2016 Hyundai Genesis um, when you drive in town you get that respectable um, presence or feeling when you drive around because of its luxury um, y you get people who always spot you and always want to take a, se a second can look at you because of the car driving it looks uh, predominantly, predominantly just uh, like the S-Class um, or the, um, the E63 but a lot of people are forced to weigh their thoughts if that's it's a Mercedes or maybe be, um, it's, it's a different brand or okay, car brand. So we are now heading home now. A lot, a lot, a lot of respect to the 2016 Hyundai Genesis. It is beyond lease and superiority. This car is so aggressive on the road. The V6 performs predominantly um, well and I'm fully aware of the presence that I get that's the luxury you get to be looked at on and on and on again and everybody wants to see so we want to subtract um, the entrance now move home and then get a suitable parking lot and actually um, draw the curtains down for today's review so ladies and gentlemen it has, has been an awesome feeling as beyond belief if i have to say it does again so share this for all your loved ones to your friends your loved ones to your friends and everybody out there to continue to support the channel i love you for all your support and may the good lord continue to be with you as i find a suitable uh, packing lot um thank you and see you in the next video. Cheerio.